you going there, Rod? Yeah, good, Ben. I was wondering if you could tell us the uh, benefits of the plaza plough on Foster's. Uh, yeah, so we're using the plaza plough down there at, uh, at Foster's just because it's got a lot of sand over gravel and a lot of the ridges are, um, are full gravel and quite rocky. So we're just using the plaza plough in, as opposed to the moldboard just... Uh, it's a bit easier on the gear, and we don't we don't uh, seem to damage the machine as much. The plaza is quite quite robust, and it's handling the rocky stuff all right. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I haven't um, I haven't seen sort of what sort of job it does, but given that it's got hydraulic hydraulic pressure and hydraulic breakout, it's um, it just rides over the top of of the gravel. We don't quite get the same depth on the gravel. Well, what depth are you aiming to get? Uh, we're hoping to get around 250 mil if we can. The deeper yeah. the better, so we can yeah. sort of turn as much as that non-wetting sand in as possible. But yeah, we just got to accept what we can get. The depth on the gravel wouldn't be critical as to the depth on the sand, would it? No, that's correct. No, we, yeah. we don't need to go as deep on the gravel. All we're trying to do is just mix a bit of sand in and, and bury a bit of lime. And bring done. up the clay. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to bring up clay if, yeah. if, if there is actually any there. Yep. Um, but yeah, just trying also to plough in. So we put spread four tonne of lime. Four tonne. In in front of the plaza. Yeah, so we're trying to mix that through. And last year we um we spread three tonne as well. So we're sort of ploughing in seven tonne of lime over two years. Yep. So hopefully yeah, hopefully it'll do the job.